That's right. Every morning we like to read you a chapter of the Bible because, uh, well, you know, a verse just doesn't cut it. Good morning, uh, Gigi. So let's go ahead and uh, stop the shuffling here, and I'll read you a verse, or a Bible chapter, not a verse. Let's do it. Three, two, a one. 1 Thessalonians 5. Here we go. Brothers and sisters, you don't need anyone to write to you about times and dates. You know very well that the day of the Lord will come like a thief in the night. When people say everything is safe and sound, destruction will suddenly strike them. It will be as sudden as labor pains come to a pregnant woman. They won't be able to escape, but brothers and sisters, you don't live in the dark. That day won't take you by surprise as a thief would. You belong to the day and to the light, not to the night and the dark. Therefore, we must not fall asleep like other people, but we must stay awake and be sober. People who sleep, sleep at night. People who get drunk, get drunk at night. Since we belong to the day, we must be sober. We must put on faith and love as a breastplate and the hope of salvation as a helmet. It was not God's intention that we experience his anger, but that we obtain salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ. He died for us so that whether we are awake in this life or asleep in death, we will live together with him. Therefore, encourage each other and strengthen one another as you are doing. Brothers and sisters, we ask you to show your appreciation for those leaders who work among you and instruct you. We ask you to love them and think very highly of them because of the work they are doing. Live in peace with each other. We encourage you, brothers and sisters, to instruct those who are not living right. Cheer up those who are discouraged. Help the weak and be patient with everyone. Make sure that no one ever pays back one wrong with another wrong. Instead, always try to do what is good for each other and everyone else. Always be joyful. Never stop praying. Whatever happens, give thanks because it's God's will in Christ Jesus that you do this. Don't put out the Spirit's fire. Don't despise what God has revealed. Instead, test everything. Hold on to what is good. Keep away from every kind of evil. May the God who gives peace make you holy in every way. May he keep your whole being, spirit, soul, and body blameless when our Lord Jesus Christ comes. The one who calls you is faithful, and he will do this. Brothers and sisters, pray for us. Greet all the brothers and sisters with a holy kiss. In the Lord's name, I order you to read this letter to all the brothers and sisters. The goodwill of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Amen. Mm. This is this 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 these these this is a list here I gotta look back at later today and, and make sure I'm checking these things off. You know what I'm saying? Help the weak. Be patient with everyone. I mean that's that's a that's a I mean that's not a small group. I'm just that's not a small group. Instruct those who are not living right. So I thank you guys for joining me this morning. This is our random chapter of the day, 1 Thessalonians 5. Appreciate it.